so I know it's been a bit since I made a video uh, so I'm gonna apologize for that I've just kind of been busy I guess the last video I made was the the two videos I made with Tiago which I was really happy with and then uh, I went to the Bashi Pope's gate off which I filmed almost like three weeks ago but haven't been really haven't been able to put it together I've just been struggling with it um, but in general I haven't been doing much group skating I'm kind of trying to get into aggressive uh, I've been doing aggressive for quite a while but it's always on and off and something I can't just continuously do so as far as like my ability I never really get better because I'm constantly taking breaks but lately ever since you know I'm not happy with my city skating setup I kind of just been sticking to aggressive skates and um, I've been doing a lot of Thursday night skate I don't really do Wednesday night skate anymore uh, which is Thursday night skate you guys probably saw the video it's like oriented to aggressive skating so the skates I use now are the Billy O'Neill Aeons um, they're flat I love this skate I can't really complain about it um, they originally came with uh, two sets of shoelaces one for the boot and one for the liner but um, I don't know I'm not a fan of having two shoelaces so I laced it from the boot to the liner and really happy with the results it is kind of tedious to get in and out of but uh, I think it's worth it so overall I'm happy with these skates except for this one strap on my left foot it kind of just comes off so um, I don't really tighten it it's really there just for aesthetics and um, but yeah but that's the only issue um, just like minor stuff overall I'm very happy so my right skate doesn't have that issue with the strap but uh, it is my dominant foot and because of this when I grind I tend to hit the ledge so the latch on top has become a little deformed so I have to guide it to close um, I imagine that this is only gonna get worse if I don't get better but uh, it's manageable so this is my go-to practice ledge uh, I like it a lot because it's about knee-high so I can still do step-ons really easy so it's not a challenge height-wise it's friendly to beginners I find that ledges that are too, that are too low when you do fall it's uh, much more worse I'd rather have something that's knee-high so when I mess up I can simply sit the biggest problem with this ledge is that it's a street ledge, it's not a skate park, so as you can see it's it's not a perfect corner, it's very round and rough. Um, I've become accustomed to skate park ledges and on those I can do lots of tricks and lock easy, but on this it's actually a challenge. So here I start off with some Machiaos. I guess technically they're kind of step-ons, I jump a little and you know there's no grab so I don't know if they're really Machiaos, but like I said, this ledge has kind of been challenging. It, it's, it reflects more street spots, and uh, Thursday night skate is like street skating. We don't really go to the skate parks, so I have trouble with these ledges. I'm still not locking on like as much as I'd like to, so it's something I'm working on. So here I start doing some Mizus, um, which are completely step-ons. I'm not even trying to jump on. Uh, normally, like in a skate park square ledge, I can do these really easily. But over here, because the ledge is round, when I try to pick up my other foot to put it down the back foot, uh, it tends to rotate my body and then I fall off. So, like, I'm really struggling with Mizu's as far as like round street ledges. Here, you see, I'm trying to jump onto it. it just, I just don't understand the lock yet. So here I start doing some porn stars. Um, this once again, this is a trick that I could normally do really well, but um, you probably saw in the beginning of the video I was putting the shin guard just on my left leg. But uh, when I was doing this in Thursday Night Skate, there was this weird ledge, and I tried it and I really beat up my left shin. So ever since, uh, I kind of put on like a shin guard just in case I do mess up until I have this locked down perfectly, then I can remove it but this is one of my favorite tricks it's really feels solid and uh, the balance is really easy on it so
So this next trick is supposed to be a backside unity. And um, so if I want to, I can slide this really easy. So if I just try to jump on top of the ledge, I can do a set slide. But whenever I actually try to stay on the ledge and lock, it's terrible. You guys are probably watching this video and saying, oh, you have to rotate your body more. But every time I rotate my body, I tend to throw myself over the ledge and then it just becomes a crazy set slide. So I'm trying to get accustomed to staying close to the ledge, but uh, I find that now that I'm doing that, I don't rotate my body enough. So this is something I've been struggling for a while, but uh, I'm getting it, slowly getting there. I don't know why, but when it comes to like group tricks, I feel so much more comfortable doing backside versions of them. So I can't do this front side like normally. And I think it's because I'm scared of the falling. I feel much safer falling backwards because I can just sit on the ledge. An aggressive skater was skating with said that's actually my problem, that I'm kind of like planning for the failure before the actual grind. So I kind of, always, I'm always bailing, you know, he, I would, I do this trick and then like, I kind of just bail on it for no reason. So here I'm going to do a Royale, which is like kind of big. Cause like I said before, I, I like having my back to the ledge in case I do fall. So here you can see I have the problem where my left leg either doesn't slide or overslides. I like to say that I've become more comfortable with falling on this. I used to have this fear that I would just fall off backwards, but I kind of just fall sideways, so it's not that bad. So this is actually the first time I try it while rolling in, if just barely, but still. Um, it was actually the other night before this that I got confident as, you know, jumping and stalling it. So I, I like to believe I did surprisingly well, being this is like the first time I ever actually grinded it. So here it finally hits me. I'm going to try this as a Cess. And for some reason, Cess slides feel very comfortable to me. And I think it's because I come from like, you know, the urban street skating where I'm accustomed to doing slides, you know, like power slides and hockey stops. So if I could just focus on the sliding aspect of it, uh, I feel like I can master it faster because previously I was trying to understand the sliding aspect but also the locking aspect so here I try to just get a feel for the set slide and then slowly move it back where I actually land on the ledge though I don't ultimately get it I'm still pretty happy with the results like I said this is the first time I'm actually trying it as a grind I'll definitely have this down like in a week or so if I just keep on going at it that's the video and um, I'm sorry if it was kind of boring I just wanted to give you guys an update and felt like if you guys have something to look at it'd be a little better. I'm going to try to get the Bashi Pope video out. I'm going to try to do more videos but like I said they're going to be aggressive oriented and I'm not the best aggressive skater so we'll see how that goes. Well see you guys next time.